This video will demonstrate how you can modify the individual properties of the welding symbol. First you select the symbol preferences icon and that brings up the symbol preferences dialog. To get to the symbols click inside the image area. This then displays all of the symbols that are available on the property so that you can modify. You select the symbol you'll notice that it tells you what that symbol is. Uh, also, you, after you select the symbol that you want to modify, you press the OK button. That takes you to the dialog box. Now from the dialog box, you can change all the various values. Now it's very important here that if you use a value that's less than 1, you want to make sure that you put a 0 in front of the decimal point. If you don't do that, then the next time you try to open the welding program, you'll get an error message in the dialog want to open. After you have changed any of the values, you then hit the Save Current. Uh, you can then click the image and go back to editing more of the symbols. Uh, for instance, the inline fraction. Uh, you can change the values here. And it's important if you change any of the values that make sure that you click the Save Value button uh, before you either go back to another symbol or press the OK button on that dialog. And you can change these values as required. You also notice that the text height uh, is included in the dialog and the text style for the welding symbol. 